It's time for some concrete therapy. The only thing I want to buy is the concrete and or the cement, whichever one of those I'm using. But um, everything else is going to be what, uh, what Steph finds in a dumpster. For instance, today we're going to use this. And this is from um, Bed Bath and Bed Bath and no Bath and Body Works, and they throw these away like they throw hundreds and hundreds of these away. But what we're going to do is we're going to fill all these cells up with concrete, and then I'll use some of these little cups that we got in the dumpster, and I'll create an indentation in there and make a candle holder, a bunch of them at one time. Today we're just we're using actual concrete. On some other ones, we'll use cement, and sometimes we'll do both. But today, we're gonna use concrete. So I'm gonna mix up some concrete. Always make sure you wear a mask, because of the dust. I'm gonna concrete mix, and I'm gonna start with a small amount. Whenever you're using odd things like this you've never used before, you don't know exactly how much it's gonna take. But if I was gonna repeat this, I'll just write down how much I use totally, you know, the complete amount of cement I use, how much water, and then I would do it again. Like if I, if I do this and I like the way it turns out, then I'll just, I'll have my notes and then I can repeat it over and over. This is not just cement. There's very fine granules in there. It's sand, cement, and granite. Very, very fine granite. If the aggregate's too big, it's harder to do small projects because when I place this in here this is what's going to create that the groove and later this will be pulled out so with that in there you can see how much coverage around the edge it's not much coverage by that I mean there's not that much cement so it if it was just cement it'd be weaker with the concrete it's stronger but if there's big rocks in it it'll be harder to consolidate it and you'd end up with voids and stuff like that so I'm gonna Start adding water in here and uh, get that mixed up and then we'll just start pouring it and see what happens. Okay, I'm trying to create a consistency that it's not super wet, but it's not real dry either. Mix it up really good and then make it a mix that's kind of flowable. If you get too wet, and then it'll start to, the water will evaporate and you'll have weak spots and... Anyways, so I'm going to continue to mix this up real good and then we'll, we'll start pouring it. This part... Mmm, that feels good. Okay, so what I'm trying to do, like you can see like this edge here and that edge there, that's where I kind of want my top to be. But once I start pushing the cup in there, it's going to come up. So it's okay if it's a little low, you know, because it's going to raise anyway. I'm going to end up taking excess off. But um, right now, I want to go around, tap the sides really good. And you see how these little bubbles start coming up? If you look closely, there's little bubbles start coming up. You just tap it, and that will help consolidate, especially around the edges. And you're gonna push this baby in there. See what I mean by how much is coming up? Definitely can take some out. Might have enough left over from all of these to, to make that other one. Okay. Do the same thing again. Then I'm gonna shove this in there. And I'm not trying to get this perfect. I will, as it sets, I'll be able to do, I'll have to come back and mess with that. 
I'm just getting it started and as it sets up you'll see I'll start to because I do want that to be deeper okay I know it's moving but I'm not done I'm actually pretty happy with that so far stuff is not for the week of height because it will it will set up fairly quick. Finish this guy out. He's a little lower. But I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to mess up. And the nice thing about this form, I can stop at any time and still use the other ones some other time and it would be satisfying to you know fill this whole thing up which ultimately I'm gonna do but this is not the like the easiest way to do this the easiest way is when you're doing you're doing a mold you just pour it typically you pour it upside down you don't do anything like I'm doing right now you just and I'll show you guys some of that stuff too this is a little bit more challenging but it's fun it's fun messing with this stuff okay we gotta make sure everything's consolidated here just tap it this stuff's actually setting up pretty quick, so I'm going to get this going. I'm not looking for it to be perfect right now. I mean, these are going to be like people. Everyone's different. Like maybe I press this one a little harder or whatever. I think that's part of the beauty of it. Ooh, you were a little tired, fella. Another thing with this material this here it's sucking the moisture out of the concrete so it's going to set up faster so i have to keep an eye you know i don't want to wait too long before i make sure my edges are good you know dress it up you get in there too okay let's fill these two and then uh and see what happens with all this stuff This one will be a little shorter, or in the event I need to steal a little cement, I'll steal it from this one. But we're not wasting any material. This one's so damaged, I didn't want to try to do a bunch of them, so I picked a couple cells that were pretty good. This one's setting up nicely. I got to pay attention because what I'm doing is I'm going to twist these, and it helps to make it smooth in there. And I got to get these two in. I'm spinning these like it's getting tight but if I keep spinning it around as it's setting if I keep it fairly loose I'll be able to take it out and hopefully when I take it out the inside will be smooth I'm, I'm the, the outside of that little cup is acting as a trowel in there so it's smoothing like this one's tight there we go See how I'm turning them? I'm just going to keep doing this every so often so that when it's time, I'll be able to get them out easily and have my indentation. And I don't care if it's, if all of them are the same depth or the, you know, I'm not trying to make them all perfect. But this also will keep that inside smooth. Like when I pull it out, it'll be a smoother texture in there. So every so often, I just do that. And you guys can see what I, what we're dealing with here. Okay, see how the inside? It's fairly smooth, right? Taking these out a little sooner 
so I can mess with that edge some more. But this one isn't as bad. It's lower, so I don't want to do too much to it. Let's see how the little guy's doing over here. Okay. All right, little guy. All right, so we're going to let this thing cure for at least 24 hours. I'll keep an eye on it, and then uh, we'll strip it, see what they look like. All right, let's take a look at our work, shall we? So this one, I just had a couple of them in it. Because like I was telling you guys, this was so messed up. I didn't even want to pour anything in there. That one's a little lower, that one's higher. And you can see how over here, I went too high. And see how it's all... You know, there's no smoothness to it because it was all kind of separating. Because I just, when I was pushing it up, pushing the little cup in there, I didn't leave it low enough to where it could just follow the edge. Like you can see these are different. These first three, bleh. Look at the form, it's just going to tear off. Definitely going to need some, um, I could tell already, like on the top edge, where there's barely any concrete, that's where you're going to have issues. I should let it probably get another day of curing, but the weather's so cool. I don't know. Let's just check one out and then maybe let it sit a little longer. But it's coming off of there fairly well. Cool. Yeah, the They're edges, cute. this is the first time Steph's seeing it. The edges aren't that great, but it's so cold. Like it's still green. Yeah. When you say it's green, it's just not setting up it actually kind of looks green yeah I see that's why they that's call, it that. call it that so these edges not overly concerned with it because i can fix it but i was curious what it would look like it looks awesome in there smooth she would say that no matter what i think that okay it's i'm gonna let it sit let it set, yeah and let it cure some more it's just so weird we have hot weather and then i do this and it's the been day it's cold. chilly yeah i like the little cut things in there that's our candle holder Nice. Maybe Steph will show me how to make candles and then we can, that's a lot of candles. Pour some candles in there. Awesome. All Good right. job. Thanks, honey. That was a kiss. All right. <laughs> We're going to let it cure one more day, guys. Okay, so day two, let's start demolding this thing and, and see what we got. The outside first. You can see little pieces curious to see what these edges are going to look like the profiles okay not bad not bad at all i would say not too shabby keep working our way around here if you were really like if you're doing stuff like this and this was a rigid form you'd want to be real careful taking it out of here because it will want to chip off the edges but the form's not rigid. This is the ones up here I was most concerned about. But so far, as I tell you to be careful, and then I just start going to town on it. Let's see if I can break this off. Yeah, get out of there. Your turn. Just get out of there. We got three, six, got 13 of them. Let me clean up some of this and then uh, we'll let them cure some more. Okay, so we got them all stripped. There's 13 of them and they're in various states of uh, disarray. So I'm gonna do a little touching up here, clean them up a little bit. It's been so cold, it's actually had some rain this morning. There might be some more rain. It's been so cold, it's taken forever just for this to at least set up a little bit. So right now, I would say I'm not thrilled with the, the tops. But I think I can dress it up a little bit. 
Now I'm going to take this and I'm just going to go go around and knock off like chunks that are that are loose. Like if it's loose, even if it takes more off than I want, I'll get all the loose stuff off. Do that, and then I'm going to take a a slurry mix, which is basically I'm going to get the I'm going to use a white cement and I'm going to make just to where I could brush it on. It'll still have a granular is it granular or granular? You can see a little bit of the cardboard in there. Texture to it. But, um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to scrape them up. And then after that, we'll uh, put a little coating on them. And see what they look like. I told Steph I needed a paintbrush for the slurry. Look at this. All of these came from a dumpster. Probably Michael's. We've gotten hundreds if not thousands of paintbrushes from Michael's at one point or another. We donate most of them, but we keep a few around the house, so I'll be using one of these babies. Okay, so I got my white cement here, and I'm going to mix up a little slurry. I'm literally just painting it on, basically. Kind of uh, therapeutic. It's very relaxing. Kind of a little whitewash effect. This little oddball. I'm gonna go ahead and let you stay with the rest of them. Give you another chance. There we go. All right. We'll let these dry and then uh, see, get a better look at them. Well, I'm done. Look at this. I think that I've stumbled upon an archaeological find. Like, see how these interlock? Like these up here. They interlock this way, right? And then down here, these are the same kind of symbols. And then this, this is part of that. And then this one is shorter. So it's a different, it's a different type of symbol. What do you guys think they're trying to tell us? I'm happy with it. Thanks for watching and uh, Keep an eye out for other concrete therapy sessions. <laughs>